Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we are checking out the newly released London Luton Airport from Innybuild. So I'm really looking forward to this one and you can see uh, already here from the front of the airport we're off to a cracking start. We've got a nice little bus terminal area and again of course a lovely terminal building. So this is from Innybuilds. Innybuilds haven't sponsored this or, or anything like that. I've paid for it myself. Um, I just really wanted to check it out, see what it's all about. So today we are going to take a flight obviously from Luton in our beloved 737 up to Edinburgh and of course the weather is uh, typically British this morning but that's okay um, might make for some interesting conditions into Edinburgh I haven't actually checked the weather yet so uh, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll get some uh, lumps and bumps on the way in but we'll uh, we'll have to see and we've got a nicely modeled gate area nice to see the interiors are modeled very nice too and again <laughs> I keep saying it, but for the longest time, I always used to say, why why bother doing that? You're not going to be in the inside of the airport, you're going to be in the plane, it doesn't make any sense. And not for the first time, I was completely wrong, because of course, when you're pulling up to a gate, especially at night, you can see inside and it looks absolutely awesome. Yeah, just loads and loads of details everywhere you look, looking really, really nice. Here's that EasyJet coming in now, that one's just landed. And there's us. Looking like the odd one out. So I think there's going to be a lot of EasyJet pilots that are going to frequent this airport. And it makes sense. Like, like I said, there's a, a big history of EasyJet at this airport. So it only makes sense. So we're at stand nine. Let's jump in the plane. Let's get things fired up. Let's see if we can get out of here without making a mess. Because I've never flown in Luton before. Um, looks like quite a simple airport, but you never know. I always manage to find it myself somewhere to make a mess of things. And we'll see if we can get up to Edinburgh without any issue. Okay, let's kind of uh, just show you the situation this morning. So here we are at Luton. We've got ground online here. And we've also got uh, Stansted radar. So I guess we're going to be kind of dealing with that as we come out of Luton. Then as we head north up to Edinburgh, Tower is currently online. So that's nice. Um, so we should get some pretty good coverage on this flight. That's going to be good. Hopefully... We won't make a mess. So what we'll do, we'll tune ground. Uh, ground are currently on, let me check, 121755. Okay, so I'm just about to call to get clearance to Edinburgh. Um, I'm hoping that we are going to be given the only two Bravo departure. And we'll get our squawk and maybe initial climb. Uh, we'll see. So I'm going to call ahead now and get that. Luton Ground, good morning. Airnot 141, stand 9, information Delta on board, aircraft type Boeing 737-800, requesting clearance to Edinburgh, please. Airnot 141, Luton Ground, very good morning, clear to Luton, Obney 2, Bravo departure, maintain 5,000 feet, squawk 5640. Only 2, Bravo departure, squawk 5640, climb 5,000 feet, Airnot 141. Airnot 141, we've got correct. Right, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of the aircraft set up and then we will think about getting ourselves pushed and up to Edinburgh. Okay, so we're in a pretty good spot now with the plane. We're going to think about getting ready to do a push and a start. Just show you roughly what I'm expecting to hear when we ask for taxi. We're up here at stand number nine. We'll push back, I imagine, facing kind of southwest down onto Bravo. And just from kind of listening around to what other people have been told, they've been told to go Bravo onto Alpha hold alpha one and then you can come out onto runway 25 and away we go so that's what i'm expecting of course it might be something different given where we are we might be told to go delta then alpha that's always a possibility uh, we'll have to wait and see Luton ground air not 141 at stand nine requesting push and start air not 141 stand nine push start three face south face south air not one thanks here we go, so facing south towards Bravo 7, that's nice. Um, also, this indicates to me that there is a proper GSX profile provided by IndyBuilds, which is nice. Um, so we'll do nose to the right. Okay, packs are off, APU bleeders on, engine 2 is into ground, which means we should start getting some N2. Yes, we are, that's good. And let's add some fuel to engine two. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's get engine one into ground. 
And again, we're just looking for that N2 figure to start rolling up. There it goes. And then when it gets to about 20%, we will add some fuel. Now we'll set flaps to five. Jolly good. So, let's get flight directors on. We will arm LNAV, arm VNAV, arm auto throttle. Brakes into RTO, rejected takeoff. We've got two good engine starts that tell GSX to go away in the nicest possible way. Looting ground, Air not 141, ready for taxi. Air not 141, taxi in the Alpha 1, V Bravo Alpha. Alpha 1 via Bravo, Alpha and not 1 for 1. There we go, so that's as we thought, so work our way back. Alpha 1 via Alpha, so along here, then obviously up to Bravo. So a nice easy taxi, one that hopefully we won't mess up, but you know. And of course this is a very good time to make use of the Toby Eye Tracker. Just gives you a little bit more situational awareness than looking straight ahead. And it's a much easier way to look around the place, see what's going on. Let's just check. We're doing the right thing here. Yep, so basically bare left onto Alpha. And there we are. There's the sign for Alpha. So far, performance seems nice. Far superior to the, uh, the shambles that we had at Gatwick. The free version of Gatwick yesterday. I don't know what happened there. Aha, we have one coming in to land. Jolly good. Now, is that going to be no, an not easy one for one, contact, uh, stands at radar 120, 65. 120, Mr. Trader, thanks very much. And on one for one. And contact one control one two seven decimal one zero five. No, oh, I messed that up, didn't I? <laughs> Never mind. And at one for one, contact one control one two seven decimal one zero five. Contact land control and at one for one, thanks. Ah. So it wasn't Stansted Radar after all. Oh, what timing! Beautiful. Well done. Well done, well done. Okay, so I guess London Control have just come online. That's why the confusion was there a moment ago. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that's the one. So what are we doing? 127105... Descend one three zero and fly heading two six zero with air uh, three five nine seven. Okay, let's see if I can jump in. Under control. Good morning. Air not one four one holding short runway two five Luton Airport. Air not one four one. Land control. Hello. Runway two five. Pivot take off. Wind two one zero degrees eight knots. Pivot take off. Runway two five. Air not one four one. Check for traffic. Well done, Patrol. Good morning. Shanix 1 to Charlie Hotel with you, 5000. Shanix 1 to Charlie Hotel, under control. Roger, climb now, flight level 190. Climb there, uh, flight level 190, Shanix 1 to Charlie Hotel. Love the eye tracker for this. With there 3597 descent to flight level 80, expect ILS runway 25. Descent flight level 80, uh, expect ILS uh, runway 25, uh, with there 3597. Sunday 8, Papa X ray fly heading 260 degrees. Okay, let's get ready to go.
So a little bit of forward yoke pressure. Oh, I said forward, I don't get it, but I Hold it on the brakes. Oh, fly heading 260, don't get it, but I can say. Shuttle 7 Tango, Conflict lands on 134, decimal 905. Rust set. Shuttle 7 Tango, Conflict London, 134, decimal 905. Ooh. 134, decimal 905, shuttle 7 Tango, Conflict London, hello, it's fly at 1 hour. Fly at 1 1 hour, hello, list 01 Charlie, arrival for London City. Uh, list 01 Charlie, show, uh, correction, fly at 1 hour. Tom today, pub break for expect on this approach from my two five to send flight level one one zero. Gear up. That's a bit bumpy. Air North one four one, report your passing altitude, climb now, flight level one two zero. Climb one two zero, we're currently at three and a half thousand feet. Beautiful. Air not 141, climb flight level 300. Flight level 300, air not 141. 7816, flight level 370. Running 7816, Roger. Air not 141, fly heading 340 degrees. 340 degrees, air not 141. Easy 5 Romeo Lima, turn left heading 110 degrees. 110 degrees, easy 5 Romeo Lima. Shanix 12 Charlie Hotel, climb flight level 350. Uh, flight level 350, Shanix 1 2 Shuttle 2 Lima, mighty Unicom, see you later. Unicom 1 2 Charlie, Charlie 2 Lima. God, this controller's just gone into god mode. How do they do it? BD5, Romeo Lima, descend flight level 9 and 0, expect ILS runway 2 2. Descend flight level 9 and 0, expect ILS runway 2 2. Swiss 8 6. Fly 1-1 one, one Alpha, descend flight level 300. Fly over ground, you fly 1-1 one, one Alpha. Air not 141, resume own navigation, direct Elbos. Direct Elbos, own navigation, air not 141. Okay. VNAV is back on, LNAV is back on, flight level 300 is in the books, and we're going direct to Elbos. London Centre, with a 9078 with you, flight level 360. With a 9078, London Control, hello, Rinis 1 November, arrival for Luton, Squawk 0244. Now this controller means business. Rinis 1, arrival for London, Luton, Squawk 0244, with a 9078. I confirm that's the Rinis 1 November arrival. Rinis 1 November arrival, with a 9078. Postman 6718, descent flight level 9 0. It's a uh, high level 9 of 0. Was that 9078? Was that 9078? That wasn't for you. Oh, sorry, my bad. Did you send the level 9 of 0 plus 1 6718? Flight level 8 0. Oh, man. There it is. You hear the engines rolling back. So that's the plane. Now we've just crossed the top of descent marker. You notice how we haven't touched a thing because we've been looking out the window. Just by rolling that altitude back to 7,000, when the time is right, the plane will do its own thing. Clever stuff. Might be an idea if I were to jump on to uh, the comms and just let people know what we're doing. Head up a traffic out at 141 at a bevy, descending for 7,000 feet for Tartan on the Inpip 1 Echo arrival. Edinburgh traffic. So I've just input all of our information into the EFB here and it defaulted to auto brakes two, uh, 3 sorry, and I was curious to see what would happen if I changed it to 2. You can see here we're going to need every last inch of that runway so if we go auto brakes 3 and then calculate that again, much better. <laughs> That's more like it. Let's go auto brakes 3 I think for today. And here comes the rain. So we're descending down to Tart and then we're going to vector ourselves out towards the uh, the ILS approach for runway 06 and 
yeah, if this is anything to go by, it could be a bit of a murky landing, so fingers crossed. Okay, let's tell the plane that we are going to go direct to CI06. You can see there it's drawn us a little line provisionally, which is where we're going to go when we're happy. We can execute that, and that becomes our flight plan. Turn our nav on, and the plane will fly, sir. Again, we are turning. You just can't tell, because all you can see is grey outside. Hopefully we get some visibility as we come into land. So that plane is 10 miles ahead of us. Yeah, it should be fine. We'll let them go. There's enough of a gap. They're going to intercept and go ahead of us. Let's slow ourselves right down. Do speed 160. Yeah, I mean, that's a little bit closer than I would have liked, really, with that plane in front, but I think we're going to be fine. But, you know, they're a good seven and a half miles ahead of us. Hopefully they're going to now turn on to final. Yeah, I think going to speed 160 was probably the right call just to give us a little bit more separation. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's always interesting situations like this. You kind of have to be a little bit flexible and look at what's in front of you and act accordingly. I mean, we don't have anything coming behind us, so I think speed 160 is fine. And if it extends the gap to the plane in front of us, so much the better. But yeah, let me know what you think. I want everyone's fingers and toes crossed for this, okay? Get down. So I'm just trying to keep my throttles roughly where the auto throttles are, so that when we do take over there's not like a giant dip or a giant acceleration. There it is. My aircraft. A little bit lumpy bumpy here, but that's okay. Just get ourselves over to the right a touch. Just keeping that nose down. Oh, stutter there. Thank you, Sim. And a massive stutter. Well, there's my excuses for the landing already, so that's good. We love a good landing excuse. Approaching minimums. Continue. Let's get over to the right. Come on. This feels too high. Not gonna lie. You've never got two reds, two whites. Continue. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Oh, that felt a little bit on the hard side. I don't know. Three hundred and thirty feet per minute. That's not terrible. Felt like I should have just held that throttle a little bit higher for a little bit longer. Yeah, that wasn't the worst. Edinburgh, good morning, Air Not 141, vacated 06. Air Not 141, welcome to Edinburgh Taxi, stand 1 Alpha via Echo, uh, correction, Alpha and Echo. 1 Alpha via Alpha and Echo, Air Not 141. All stations, Edinburgh Grand is now closing contact, tower on 118 decimal 705, bye bye. Here's Echo. Okay, I don't think we're going to do that because we've got our taxi instructions. And we're basically done, so. We'll be going in here to stand 1 Alpha. Which is all the way at the end. Already here is 1 Alpha, so let's just slow ourselves down on the brakes a little bit. 
and make that turn in. Love the Toby Eye Tracker for this. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Let's see how much of a good parking job I can do. Can I get the nose up, nose wheel right on that line? I struggle. I struggle to do that quite a bit, so... Let's see if I can. I think it's probably about there. Oh, that was a fun flight, that. Again, the landing, I'm not sure it's one for the Hall of Fame, but it was a nice flight and uh, tricky conditions into Edinburgh. As it quite often is, the weather often plays tricks on you up here, so that's, uh, that's always good fun. But what a cool flight. What a, what a great effort from any builds on Luton. That's definitely going to be one that I think we uh, throw into the rotations a little bit. Because, uh, yeah, I think Luton's quite a cool airport. It's got a, uh, a big history with EasyJet, so it'll be nice to fly some A320s in and out of there, especially with the Phoenix. That's going to be really nice. And hopefully it's going to have more of a presence on Vatsim now that hopefully it will attract more more VAT simmers now that there's some really good scenery for it so that's great for the sim great for VAT sim great for everybody so uh yeah big thanks to any builds for that contribution really really nice uh job they've done and yeah just everyone benefits so it's, it's really good really nice let me know do you want to see more videos like this i did a poll recently and i kind of asked you know what what it is you want to see from from me as a creator um i gave you four options i think i said do you want kind of full flight highlights much like this video do you want tutorials and how to's do you want news and updates about the sim or do you want live streams now i thought everybody was going to say live streams because those that i hear from the most quite often say when are you streaming when are you streaming are we streaming yeah let's do a stream they love the streams fair enough um so i kind of thought well obviously everyone's going to want the streams but like 50 something percent of you said uh, i think it was nearly 60 percent said you wanted these types of videos so hopefully Hopefully I'm giving you what you want. Um, I obviously really enjoy doing them too. That's really cool. But only 7% of you said you wanted live streams, which I was really, really shocked by. And I think the remaining 30 odd percent wanted uh, tutorials and how-tos. So yeah, big wake-up call for me there. Because um, I think if it was left up to me, I would just be just streaming and streaming and streaming and streaming. But it turns out, I guess you want more of this stuff. Um, let me know in the comments um, if you agree with the, out the, uh, the outcome of that poll. Um, always good to have more data on this stuff because I want to be making sure that I'm giving you know most of you what it is that you want you know pleasing the most people possible um, but yeah let me know in the comments I'd love to hear from you um, it's always interesting trying to figure out how best to do this to uh, you know make sure that we're giving you all what you want so thank you all very much for watching I'm going to stop rambling take the very best care of yourselves and I will see you on the next flight cheers <laughs>